One of the things that was pivotal for me was um, was c coming from here. When you scream, you, you think a lot of here. You know, you think you're um, you think throat. You think ah, you know ah, you get in there. But it was it was uh, so much emphasis was put on down here at the core. And um, what she taught me, one of the things was really being in shape. Like if you're a singer and doing this kind of singing, being in shape is, is so key. Before we get into screaming, we're going to focus on some breathing exercises and some vocal exercises. Let's first locate the diaphragm. So find where your sternum is, Follow your sternum down to where your right and left rib cage separate. Take your fingers, follow the bottom of the ribs all the way around the front, sides and back. And that's where your diaphragm is located. It's a very thin muscle that separates the upper organs from the lower organs. I want you to place your hand right here in front of the ribs. Take a little sniff through your nose and you should feel the expansion go out in front and along the sides. And then I'd like you to put your hands on the back ribs and take your breath through your mouth and you should feel the expansion again in the back. So when we take a breath, we're gonna do a little bit through our nose and our mouth and inflate the whole inner tube, front, back, and side. So we'll begin on a breathing exercise. I want you to take a breath through your nose, arms will go halfway up the side of your body, all the way towards the ceiling, through your mouth, and then on an S, very slowly, arms will part away and we'll end up halfway up the side of our body. So let's try it. Take the breath, nose, mouth, and on that S. Great, and we should try to hit a 45 to 60 second mark on that. So now let's activate the ab muscles. We're gonna focus on this muscle here, the internal oblique. So I want you to find your hip bones on either side, put the palm of your hand and have your fingers come out as though they are the muscles branching out. We're gonna feel a very strong flex when we make this sound. Imagine that you're in um, a martial arts class and you're going to produce a huh sound. And it's a very low sound like huh, huh, good. And really feel that muscle moves, huh, huh, good. That was good. And now let's say you're in a military and you're saying huh, two, three, four, huh, two, three, four. Right, so you're feeling those flexes on each one of those. And now let's imagine that we have a telephone book in front of us and that we're going to tear this telephone book in half on a k, like in the word cookie. Again, thinking the K comes from here, going k, k. Good. So we're going to try it again. I really think it's kind of a low, low pitch. K, k. Good. That was much better. And again, one more time feeling that k. Good. And so we're going to use that K now to activate the sound with some piano exercises. Well, when I started working with Sue and I started learning how to warm up my voice properly and, and using, you know, all the techniques that Sue taught me, uh, I, before I was starting to lose notes, you know, my range was starting to disintegrate and then my range kind of bounced back and even grew a little bit, you know, like added a couple notes back on to like what I could do when I was a teenager. So I want you to use the K of the key and activate the sound from the pelvic. So we're going to start with four keys. You're going to go key, take a new breath, key, take a new breath, and let's start. And key, good, and key, good, nice and strong, 
Key. Great. And another one. Key. Good. Now I'm going to move it up half step. And again on the key. Key. Good. Think about the pelvic. And. Key. Good. And again. Key. Good. And another one. Key. Good. Now we're going to think about, I have the key, you're demanding the key from me. It's almost okay. like speaking on that pitch. And. Key. Good. Take a new breath. And. Key. Good. You're getting a little bit too much. Probably can feel it okay. in your throat right now. So just back off a little bit. Okay. Use the pelvic again. And just think, Sue, I need my key. As so we're just talking on that pitch. And. Key. Good. Take a new breath. Key. Good. That's much better. Key. Good. A little stronger on that one. Key. Good. And we're going to move it up another half step. And again. Key. Good. Take a new breath. And. Key. Good. And a new breath. Key. Good. Great. And one more. Key. Good. So now we're going to take these keys and we're going to do one, two, three, four, five of them. Think of like you're speaking on the pitches, each one. And so here we go. We'll take another breath and key. Good. Key. Good. Key. 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 Good. So the low ones are kind of just talking on those pitches. They don't need as much strength okay. as the top ones. And here we go. Key. Good. Key. Good. Key. Good. Key. Key. Good. And again, think about being very assertive, very aggressive. I need that key. And. Key. Good. Key. Key. Good. Key. Key. Good. And we're going to do another group. Here we go. Key. Good. Key. Good. Key. 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 Good. So now we're going to take the K and we're going to take it on the first key and smooth it out as we come along to the bottom note. So it's just key. Okay. Ready. And. Key. Good. And again. Key. Good. And really think like key. Really okay. try to drive that sound to the very last note. Okay. And. Key. Good. That's good, Rob. And again. Key. That's an excellent one. Key. Good. And try to kick it from the pelvic. Key. Yeah. And again, just say. Key. Just one note. Key. Key. Yeah, I need my key, Sue. Key. Good. Much better. So we're going to think about placement this time, but we're going to think about we're a bratty kid. We don't want to go anywhere. And we're going to go, mm -mm, I'm not going. And we'll do it on the first mm -mm, and then we want to put that M where we feel the mm -mm, put the M of me there. So it will sound like this, mm -mm. and then me. Ready? And mm -mm. me. Good. Mm -mm. Me. Nice placement. Mm -mm. Me. Beautiful sound. Mm -mm. Me. Great. this placement and put it with the pelvic um, muscle as well. And we're going to think of the word M-I-N-G. You're going to think M-I-N-G, lowered on your lower eyelid, and you're thinking the gi, feeling it, the flex from there. And so we'll do single, mingi, mingi, on each one. Mingi, mingi, mingi. Yeah, and I can see that you're really activating those lower eyelids to show me the ming and mingi, 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 mingi.
it's really belly sounding. That's beautiful. I really had to work on was getting the, the placement of the notes, figuring out where to place the notes in my head to have them come out where I wanted them to come out and how I wanted them to sound. That was really, really hard. And it took a lot of practice. Um, now it's pretty easy. And now it's funny because when I hear a singer, I can tell how they're singing and where, where they've placed the notes in their heads. So now we're going to take an exercise on the nets to find this placement and take you up a little bit more higher in your range. And um, again, think that you're sending the nets right between your eyes or on the ridge of your nose. And we'll just start going nyat, 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 nyat on each one. And nyat, 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 nyat. Good, good placement. And nyat, 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 nyat. Wonderful. Nyat, 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 nyat. Great. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good. Nyat, 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 nyat. Wonderful. Nyat, 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 nyat. Great. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good. So think a little bit more down here to support it, because the higher we go, the more support we need. And like as though there's a shelf right here or sitting on above your top of your eyebrows. And. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good, and anchor it down. Nyat. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good, I'm going to try that one again. Reach okay. it for right here, but center and lower down into the pelvic. Going nyat, 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 nyat. Okay. And. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good, and one more. Same, same pitch. Mm -hmm. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good, that was a really good one. Let's do that one again. One more. Nyat, 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 nyat. That was it. That was excellent. Do it again. Next one. And. Nyat, 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 nyat. Good. And then just try to really get that. Nyat. Like you're very kind of bratty, whiny. And. Nyat, 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 nyat. Yeah. So the sound's more forward in front of your face. And another one. Nyat, 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 nyat. Excellent, Robert. And again. Nyat, 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 nyat. Wonderful. And. Nyat, 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 nyat. Beautiful. That was great. When I was, you know, froggy in the morning, we, we did the warp tour. Um, and those shows were like, you know, would start at like noon or one o'clock. And when you wake up at, you know, 10 or 11, you don't have a lot of time to, you know, it's not like you, you have, you can wait till midnight and your voice is all, you know, superior and you've talked it, you've kind of talked that frog out. Those tapes, you know, and, and her instruction, you know, it does work and it works quick if you're just, you know, starting really, really soft and, you know, before you know it, it you know, a good half hour you can, you can scream. So let's think about another way of placing the tone is to hang upside down. So just right now, take your head to your sternum and just sort of let the weight of your shoulders and your body's body bring you down all the way down to the floor stretch out the back of your legs nod your head in a yes and a no and we're just going to kind of feel where these e's are just going e you're very easy feeling all that sound vibrating feeling the sound gravitate and we're going to start it very easily on the E. vertebra by vertebra to your head. It's the last thing to come up. Just kind of close your eyes and kind of imagine what it felt hanging upside down where it is there. Now you're standing up. It's in the same spot. 
to your sternum with the weight of your whole body bring you down stretch out and we're going to do a little bit of the scale work now on that E on the E going your eyes and sort of just imagine again you're upside down and yeah very easy like that good and let's do one more beautiful nice and easy like that and that's how you warm up for the screens. <laughs> mm. Let's start screaming or calling or yelling properly. So first find the strength of your hip bone and fill the back of your throat nice and open. We're gonna pretend we're at a baseball game and we're yelling, hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, 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 better. Yeah, so the throat's nice and open. We're using that H right down there. And let's imagine this time we're a conductor and we're saying, all aboard, all aboard. Great, still activating that muscle. So this time we're going to put it with an H and we're going to think like, hey to you, going, hey you, hey you. Right, and so using that H again, activating, feel the throat nice and open the back and sensing a big open call. And we'll take that exercise and go to the piano and do some piano exercises and vocal exercises. Now we're gonna start with the hey yous and um, you're gonna take your fatty part of your knuckles and put them on the side of those books. And just right now, you're going to just sort of press down and feel that flexing in the pelvic muscle again. And um, we're going to do very clean ones. And we'll start them by just going, hey, you. Just finding one pitch on the top and then the you on the bottom. Hey, you. Good. And so each time on that, hey, really make sure it's set up by pressing down on those books. Ready? And. Hey, you. Good. Hey, you. Good. Hey, you. Good. Now, let's look out this way. Imagine somebody's messing with your car, and you're going to stop them by saying, hey. So, look at that person there, and a little more assertive, more aggressive. That. Hey, you. Good. And again. Hey, you. Excellent. Hey, you. Great. Hey, you. Good. So we're really on that, hey, hey, yeah, that's wonderful. And that, hey, you, hey, you, wow, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> so now let's take that kind of energy and sound and bring it all the way down going, hey, you, there you go, hey, you, good, and really press down into those books, really feel the security there. That's where that H is hooky, and, Hey, you. There you go. Hey, you. Good. Hey, you. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 
It was rather simple for me to understand because it was just a, here's the right way and here's the wrong way and you just have to follow the path of the right way. But um, I think it's more of a conscious thing for me. It's one thing she was really helped, she really got through to me was to be conscious of, uh, of using the voice, especially when I'm trying to play the bass guitar at the same time. So it's like I'm trying to do double duties and, uh, and, and being very conscious and aware of, uh, of always using this and always letting it come from here and forming it right here. And uh, that's something that, I, that I'm thinking about every second of every song, of every lyric, of every passage. So let's start growling or screaming. First of all, I want you to take a look at this diagram. Here's your mouth, here's your throat, and here's where your vocal cords are. Most people think that the scream and growl come from this area. It does not. If you look in the back of your throat, you're going to see your uvula, you're going to see the arches, and between those arches will be your tonsils, if you still have them, and the soft palate. It is in this area that the scream and the growl is made. There's a sensation like flapping in the wind or a fluttering in the wind. So we're going to try to get that in our own throats now. You have to remember that the growl is also produced with a consonant. If you can't speak it with a growl, then you're not going to be able to scream it with a growl. So it's important to feel that sensation. We're going to start to think about the Germans, they have a very guttural language, and we'll use the words nich and nach. And when we produce those words, you'll feel this sound. Nich. Nich. Good. Nach. Nach. Great. We're going to think about the sound of an HR. For instance, in this phrase, I've got a heart of gold. That's a great setup for a growl and scream. I've got a heart of gold. I got a heart of gold. Yeah, you kind of got it. So you kind of get that look. <sighs> I got a heart of gold. Heart of gold. Heart. That's not bad, but we'll just try some other ideas to kind of get it more um, working. Let's think about animals. Perfect idea. Lions. Let's say we're going to be lions growling and you're going to make this sound. Rawr, rawr. Yeah, see, perfect. That's how you got it. Let's try thinking about birds cawing. So we're going to go caw, 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 caw. Good. You're going to get a little bit of it going there. Or imagine cars vrooming. Vroom, vroom. Oh, really? That's great. That's really great. And we're going to think about a phrase. Let's think about this phrase, pirates are waiting. So we can kind of think pirates also get growls going, pirates, pirates, pirates are, pirates are. Good, pirates are waiting. Pirates are waiting. So waiting's a little more difficult, but that's kind of at least giving you an idea that not all consonants can produce that scream or growl. It's just, it's, it's been a long road to figure out exactly what and where inside the body these things need to come from, you know, and, and just the direction that Sue's shown me, she just kind of, so lay it out sometimes in weird ways that, that you can visualize exactly where she, you're trying to lay your nose, like your low end stuff sits lower in your body, you know what I mean, and it, it comes from a little bit upper part of your diaphragm, and when you get into your higher end, your falsettos and stuff, you know, you've got to spread your diaphragm flat, and you got to really sing from the back of your soft palate, and and just in, in the transitions of learning, as Sue put it, the, the plumbing that goes from your basement to your attic, that to learn how to do uh, a low end to high end scream in a scale. But it all is, it comes down to that muscle recognition and that body memory. Let's go back to this exercise right now and add a little bit of a, a growl to it. Okay, and think about that. That growl is not in your throat. You're really trying to get that sound up here again. If we went nach or nech okay. and kind of thought of that little hey, 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 hey. Yeah, just to kind of get that little sound of that growl going. And let's just try it a couple on these. And we're going to go hey. security and hey and hey you hey you excellent hey you good hey you good how's 
does that feel? Good. Good, good. Okay, so that's the section that we're going to work on is that area there. Okay, so who is Ratface? What is this Ratface person like? Is he a good guy, bad guy? Bad guy. He's a bad guy. Yeah. Okay, so it's like you you actually have an attitude towards this person. Okay. Okay, and this time do it again. And so maybe that person's right here and you're saying, you know, Rat face! Enemy coming to hunt you down. Good. So let's just think about that. Hunt you down. And just just even in your body, like you're just going to maybe, a, you know, attack that person. Hunt you down. Do that. Just on the hunt you down. Hunt you down. Good. And just really let that down. Down. Good. That was really great. So let's do that line one more time. And just even physically with your body. And. Rat face. Enemy. Coming to hunt you down. Good. That was really great. And then there's another section as well. What's another one? It's the no way. Yeah, try on that no way. No way out of here. This is a warning. Okay, so really take your time to take your breaths. Just really relax, sink down into the center of your body. And then you're saying, what are you saying? No way what? No way out of here. This is a warning. Right. Okay. So there it is. You're warning him. No way. Hey, get out of here. So again, this is this uh, that person that you're having that attitude. And no way out of here. This is a warning. Good. I want you to like with your hand. This is a warning. This is a warning. Good. Out of here. Out of here. Good. No way. No way. Great. That's that kind of energy when you let it go out of your body. You're in angst. You're angry, you know? Mm -hmm. You got venom on your mouth. So before on, on Cruel, when I'm singing that, I used to kind of go between me like that, and then now it's like she she had me, and that's more from your head voice and up in here. And now when it, if I if I project it from here, it's like between me, then it just like completely was different. So we're gonna think about changing two places for screams between high screams and the low screams. Okay. And so we're going to think about um, the falsetto. And we're going to start to just warm it up. We're going to do it on like oohs and e's. But first, before we do the falsetto, I want you to be able to just speak in the falsetto. So if we use this phrase like, oh no, he did it. Can you do that? He, oh no, he did it. He did it. And we said, who did it? Who did it? And if you just really feel like, ooh, it sits ooh. right here, yeah, right up here in the top of part of your head. We're gonna do very easily on three half steps on the who going, ooh, and ooh. good. 
good. And again. Good. Now ask me the question like, who who did it? Yeah, and just ask me that question right. Who? Yeah, so think it's like not singing it as so much as like just speaking it. Right, good. So that beginning is really where you want to settle it in going. Again. Nice, beautiful. Good, hear the first note again. Good. And again on this one. Good, and again on this one. Beautiful, and keeping the sound around your head. Imagine the sound is just going around from one end to the other, going. Beautiful, and again one more. Good, so we're going to try to get, we're going to do it in five half steps. And <clears throat> what I want you to do right now is take your hand and put it up as though it's a towards the ceiling. And I want you to draw a circle around as though you're keeping all five of those pitches up there going. Ooh. Try. Ooh. That's so beautiful. That's the way it flows out of your body. Do it again on he. But this time, let's just really try utilizing your hand as so you're drawing this circle above going. Try. And. Good. Try it again now with a who going. And. Right. And just use your hand to draw that sound out of you going. Those are beautiful sounds. Do that again on those who's. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. Again on those Good. And one more on those Beautiful. Those are really nice sounds. So it should feel like it's all sitting way up here on the top part of your crania. So we're going to do a roll up in um, these who's like on a big slide going Ooh. Good. At the same time, you can kind of feel like you're pressing down, going. Ooh. And. or hat on top of your head, and you're singing way up into the apex of that birthday hat, going Ooh. Right. Think like you're going Ooh. 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 Right, here we go. Just going, yes, yeah, sending it way up into the apex of that triangle, and yeah, lots of blowy air there, and yeah, so just do it as though we're even singing, yeah, so we don't catch it in the throat. So we're going, good. Now let's start it from the low note, going. Just like that. Just simple. It's like you're going, ee, whoopee, type of sound. And, yeah, just, ee, yeah, that free. Good. So then I want to just, just for the fun of it, let's try to do this sound. Watch the sound. Could you make that sound? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Can't do that. Yeah, you yeah. can. Way up in your fall, so we're gonna kind of make a witchy is there, sound. Is there a pitch I'm going for? Or we're just, just gonna go. You just. Okay. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're just kind of getting that song.
song way up there and kind okay. of bidding of a little scream and a growl up there. Okay. Very good. It's a very witchy sound that you want to go to. We've all heard bands that make that type of yeah. sound. So um, we're going to start to do an exercise that will be from the head voice with strength, but um, we're going to do it with a hat. So basically, you're going to put the hat on the back of your head, and you're going to use the word Alma, A-L-M-A. And I want you to make sure that you don't sing the word Alma, and then your hat goes. You want to make the hat initiate it, the sound. Um, and basically, here, you could put the hat on, and... Imagine that this person is walking by Alma, and you haven't seen her in a long time, and you're going to take off the hat as though men used to do that. It's a very courteous thing. And uh, think about your pelvic muscle, and this is how this exercise goes. So, again, your hand's going to be up here, and she's walking by, and you're going, Alma. Alma. Good. And make the hat, make the sound come off it. Oh, ma. Good. Oh, ma. Good. And in doing that, this area here, you're just thinking about this muscle here and lifting that muscle up because this muscle makes the soft palate lift for a little bit more space on those high notes. But very good. Very good in the strength that you're giving it. So again, taking that hat and oh ma. beautiful. And again. Oh ma. Good and thinking that nice stretch and let go. Oh ma. Good. So let's do a couple of these coming down going. Oh ma. And. Oh ma. Beautiful. And there she is. for that one. That was great. I don't really do hardly any vocal takes in the studio anymore. I mean, and that was partly like a creative decision and partly also just because I didn't have to do like five million takes. So it's like the record that we just put out, it's like most of my vocal takes are between one and three takes. And it's just like singing it pretty much straight through and then maybe we'll pick like I like take two that seem to have the best feel to it or whatever